so, Valeria, what do you think about porn? Hey guys, can we try to keep quiet with the blocks? We'll talk about those in a second. How many do you think are? One? one? Just one? Just one that little... Okay. Yeah. So, Paisley, what do you think about purple? You have five sections left, right? And they gave one to orange. Two? Two or three, probably. Which, which was more common, purple or green? Purple, so purple should probably get more than green. So we could either do three and two, or we could do four and one, right? If we want to add up to six. Yeah, but green has no possibility of Oh, so we can't make orange and green equal. Yeah, you have to keep green and two. Because we said, so we're going to throw this, this is bad. The, the one we erased, we're saying we're going to go with one, two, and three. One orange, two green, three purple. There you go. You guys got it. So if we slice this into six slices, right, the left side gets three out of the six, or half of it. My green gets two slices, my orange gets one slice. Good job, guys. So, so apparently, what we're saying is we can use results to figure stuff out. Anyone want to read? Computer bar. So your team, thank you very much, your team has already your set of blocks. And we're going to say that this is a probability game, but you, fortunately, get the chance to observe the situation before you start. So with your team, I need you to determine the likelihood. What's likelihood a synonym for? What thing have we been talking about? Starts with a P. Probability or possibility, right? People are saying. So the probability of red, of green, of blue, and of orange. So how we're going to write this on your paper, let's have one number 75, because we got to start getting better at taking notes. So if I make a new notes page, it's going to say 75. And then there are going to be four parts. Probability of red. So we're going to write P of that event. We got red, green, blue, orange. So work with your team right now. I should see your paper looking very similar to what the chalkboard looks like. Make sure you put 75 like in a circle or a box or something so you know that 75 is not part of the problem. Yes. Okay. So, which one would you rather be first? You got to share your paper with each other. You Or 
Pop thing makes this look really weird. So that everybody's setup should be the same. Are we talking about why? Make sure we don't just share our hands, we're just talking about why. I think I gave you longer than I said, but that happens a lot. Layla, what did you guys think about the probability of red? Um, two out of twelve. Two out of twelve. We agree? So could I also write that as one out of six? Go ahead. If you don't have that on your paper, go ahead and write that. Remember, when we simplify fractions, we're just dividing by the same thing on top and bottom. So since both of these are even, let's cut them both in half. Gravity works. Yeah. Isabella, what about the probability of green? Uh, four out of twelve. Four out of twelve? Ooh, or we could cut them both in half and get two six, and we can cut them both in half again and get one third. So all of those fractions would be correct answers. Questions so far? Question. I think you got answers, right? <laughs> Farah, what about probability blue? Five out of twelve. No, wait, can I reduce that? No, no because five and twelve do not get along. They they don't they can't divide by it. Now, I'm going to ignore cards and say, John, you and I had this interesting moment back oh, there. Yeah. Tell them this moment you had. Okay, um, I thought um, that the orange was yellow because I thought Mr. Weston was colorblind. And actually, I, I am color deficient. I get certain <laughs> colors wrong, but I know my yellow versus my orange. Fun fact, 10% of boys, 10%, one out of every 10, are color deficient. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so one of you... Yeah, one of you is probably color deficient. Sorry, dudes. Go ahead, John. Um, but it's actually um, orange, and so it's a zero out of twelve because there is no orange in the box. There is no orange. Just like the cake is a lie if you've ever played Portal. There is no orange. What about yellow? Muffins. So we didn't ask about yellow. So if we want to go ahead and add yellow on here, sorry, yellow's right really bright. Like, ooh, you can't do that one. Yeah, yellow. Yeah, yellow. All right, what is right in black? Probability of yellow. So what is that, you see that? One out of twelve. So there's one yellow block. Now I want you guys to turn to a neighboring group. Ah, uh, there's an odd number of groups. So chat with your group. What, hold on, what would happen if your two groups get together? What happens to our probability if your two groups dump your baskets, the bags, whatever you call it, together? What happens? Talk to your group for a minute or two. So can I steal yours? Can we combine? You guys care if I combine with you? So I've got mine on my desk. We can put them under the camera.
Alright, now the only issue here is because that one's running out of blocks. Green is green, okay? We're not going to discern between light green and dark green. Green is green. Okay, so this is kind of problematic. Guys, I often do this in games. Sort. If it helps your brain, sort things. You ever play a game where you like, like Monopoly, you put your houses in one part, put your hotels in another part. So now, looking at this situation, trying to get them all on the screen, what is, let's say, our probability of, well, we just talked about yellow right at the end. What's our probability of yellow here? Shout it out, anyone? Well. Two out of twelve. Wait, two out of twelve? Okay. Ooh. So let's uh, try to hold on to our water bottles and things. We have two yellow, like blindingly bright up here. But now the sample space, which we'll come back and we'll write that down in a minute. Now 24. Is now 24. Did our probability change? Did our probability change? Give me your eyes up here real quick. And if you're still writing, that's fine. Is 2 over 24 mathematically different than 1 12? Yes. I'll give you 1 12 of pizza versus 2 24. You get the same. Now, the numbers. This is where middle school, like, I love how your brain works. Take John, just hang on to this for a second. The numbers are different. I get it. The numbers are different. But this fraction is the same as this fraction. So nothing changed. This is because we doubled on bottom and doubled on top, right? When I stole their cubes, everything doubled. I didn't just double yellow. I didn't just double the, like, the whatever. I doubled everything. Questions on this being the same? So let's write down a vocab word. Sample space. I haven't really asked you to write down much today. Man, my pen keeps being weird. It's like every 10 seconds, it like doesn't write. Mine, I can't use mine yet, so I need like a USB thing. Let me come check your classroom. Mine is hooked up wrong. Okay. So even if you have what you need. Sample space is all, it's just three words, guys. All possible. So by that, we don't just mean red, yellow, blue, green. Because is my bag only full of four things? Is there only a red, a yellow, a blue, a green? No. So we got to talk about how many of these things, right? So if you list out our sample space, I'm not going to have you do it. But if we were to list out our sample space, so this is the question you just answered. You don't need to read this. If you listed out our sample space, guys, it would be blue, 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 green, 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 red, red, yellow. Right? You literally have to say every piece that we have, all possible outcomes. Does that make sense? We can't just say blue, red, yellow, green. We gotta say all of them. So we just did this. Question though, those probabilities you wrote down, theoretical. are those theoretical or are they experimental? And I have lost my deck of cards. Marina, what do you think? Were those theoretical or experimental? The probabilities you wrote down? We did it, we picked blocks out. Ah, they're theoretical. Guys, remember, theoretical, all we actually did here was think. So if you need to write this reminder, theoretical means to think. Ah, not things.
if we start actually kicking blocks out, that'll become experimental. So, the combined bag, right, our combined bags. If you were to make 12 holes out of the bag, use your theoretical probability, talk with your partners, about how many blue blocks do you think you would get? Right, if you did this, if you experimented 12 times, how many blue blocks do you think you'd get? How many blue will you get from 12 holes? I know you probably don't know each other. It's okay to talk. You do what? How many? So maybe I need to clarify. I think I might need to clarify. Um, I'm going to start using a different term, I guess. If we random drop, because I'm, I'm going to make you guys board gamers, if there's like one thing I want to do is make you guys board gamers. So at the start of most board games, we do a random drop to determine who goes first. So guys, what the board is asking, if you were to make 12 draws, this is what happens. Give me your eyes up here. You randomize the situation, and without looking, right, you pick one, look at the color, and then put it back. And then you do it again. So that's what 12 draws would be. So the most blues that we could get is how many? 12. If every one of these came up as blue, that would be the most that we could get. But if I do this 12 times, anyone want to share their thoughts? We'll take volunteers on this because I know this is a little deeper question. Want to share your thoughts? Only for blue. Only for blue. Okay, what's your thoughts on blue? Uh, I think we should at least go four out of the blue. You think at least four yeah. out of the 12? Yeah, I'd probably agree with that. Do you want to explain your reasoning behind that? Say that again, but louder. Oh, uh, since there was five out of twelve in the last one, if I was blowing this one out in fourth, the only time I missed. What if I asked one of you to repeat what just got said? I bet we weren't listening, so we need to get better at this. Say that one more time, because what you're saying is really, really good. <laughs> you want me to repeat it? So we said if blue, when we look at the situation gets a probability of 5 out of 12. We need like one of those like, bow, 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 like the like, loud horn thing. Guys, this is our total. If we do it 12 times, we anticipate we get blue 5. Our theoretical probability that's our prediction. We do theoretical probability to make predictions. So if we do this six times, how many greens would we expect? If we do it six times, we would expect two greens. Right? If we do this ten times, how many oranges do we expect? Zero, right? Our, our probability for zero. If we do this 12 times, how many red? Two. Because we use our theoretical to predict. If we do this 12 times, how many purple? Uh, zero, because there are no purple up here, right? Is this making sense? A little bit of sense that our theoretical probability, what we think, 
that's our prediction. That, that's how people gamble. Like, I'm not telling you to go gamble, but that, like, otherwise, you're just, like, throwing a dart at the wall. Like, you got to have a reason for what you're doing. So we said, I'm actually going to come back to where we wrote down sample space. So right here, we wrote down sample space. What else we want to write that we observed today was if everything if everything doubles or triples or actually whatever. So I'm going to put doubles like doubles doesn't really matter. It could triple, it could quadruple. If everything doubles, probability stays the same. I don't know why I started a sentence. Case I, you guys are welcome to talk to me whenever you need it. No, I start a sentence with a lowercase, and how often do you use a lowercase I? It's just not there. So, guys, this is known as. Ooh, I do like purple, so I'm going to start doing that. What's AKA stand for? Also known as. AKA means also known as the giant one. Oh yeah, we saw that. Some of you maybe have, some of you maybe didn't, depends on your elementary teachers. If you've been working ahead in your homework, you've maybe already seen this. Uh, man, I gotta double check how long we're in here. I think I'm keeping you guys late. No, 50 minutes left. Oh, yeah. So, last year and every year I've taught here, 1A ended at 48, and it is messing me up. Put your name on this immediately. Name and letter group. This is the rest of the chapter one homework. If you lose it, I'll be sad because trees. And if you lose it, you'll be sad because, you know, work. Oh, yeah, you did. You can I lost them. You are welcome. Name and letter group. This is not a request. This is a demand.
So this giant one, you got a tiny bit more, then you're out of here. So I didn't say put the notes away yet. The giant one, I mean, if you don't write this down, it's your choice. But uh, I would if I was you. There's one more way that I can make the giant one super easy for you, and I know I said that was easier. The giant one is the opposite of simplifying. It's unsimplifying. Simplifying, you make the numbers smaller. Giant one is just make these numbers bigger by doing the same thing. So if I double, this becomes four, and my bottom would become 24, right? If you double. If I triple, though, if I tripled my bag, let's say I grab three groups of bags. Yeah, and if you guys could snap them apart for me, that would be sweet and put them back in the containers before the end of class. If we triple, how many reds would we have? Six out of 36. So what we're going to start doing, I got one more thing to show you, then we're done, is like the probability of blue was five false. I'm not going to make you do this, but it's done, it's ready in your homework for some of these problems. We give you the picture of a one, because if we multiply by one, nothing happens. Sorry, no, the top of my one's kind of weird. So, what we did today when two groups put their bags together was we multiplied by two on top and bottom, which really multiplied by a, a big old one. And this becomes 10 over 24. Cool? Now you can put your notes away and get out of here. John, I see it. I gotta save this.